The possibilities of three or four lynxes from the same litter reaching adulthood in the wild are very scarce, and therefore capturing some cubs guarantees that all of them will survive. The situation is so desperate that it is calculated that the death of a single lynx is as significant for the species as the deaths of 400,000 people would be for humanity. It is therefore not surprising that the Iberian lynxes in the breeding and captivity center are treated as unique, priceless treasures. The techniques used at the El Acebuche Center have made it possible to make considerable progress in our knowledge of these animals. And moreover, we must take into account the fact that never before had it been possible to study the Iberian lynx 24 hours a day. Thanks to this, they have accumulated a huge amount of data that have permitted great advances in the knowledge of the physiology, territoriality, habits and sexual behavior of these felines. The Iberian lynx is a medium-sized feline. The females weigh between 9 and 10 kilos. The males can weigh between 14 and 16 kilos. They can be about the size of a Dalmatian, except that a Dalmatian weighs more. An Iberian lynx, because it has to be very agile, is very light in weight. Considering all the variables, the territories can be between 5 and 15 square kilometers. The territory varies a lot depending on the density of rabbits. If there are a lot of rabbits, the territories are small, and if there are few rabbits, the territories are bigger. It also depends on the sex. The males have much bigger territories than the females. Normally, they hunt down one rabbit a day, except females with cubs, who have greater energy needs and can hunt up to three rabbits. That means that they have really to work hard to hunt down that number of rabbits to keep the litter going. Food is one of the factors that has most influenced the precarious situation of the Iberian lynx. The more specific a behavior or a diet is, the more complicated it is to adapt and survive in a different environment. The lynx can, without a doubt, be considered an animal of very special tastes. The fact that the rabbit makes up 90% of the lynx's diet means that this animal's destiny is closely linked to that of its main food. It would be futile to reintroduce the lynx into a forest that is not ready to receive it. And therefore, the studies also focus on monitoring the numbers and health of rabbits in the areas where they intend to carry out this reintroduction. It is also fundamental that the lynxes know how to hunt them, as only then will they be able to fend for themselves in the wild. The work is divided into observation of the animals, the constant gathering of data, and their subsequent analyses. And as it is a completely new area of experimentation, the exchange of information with experts in other medium-sized felines, such as Eurasian lynxes or bobcats, can help to overcome certain difficulties. Many of the techniques are being perfected here. The truth is, we are learning as we go along. Every day, the feces of all the animals are collected. Depending on the places where these are deposited, or whether they are covered or not, many things can be learned about the animals' behavior or relations among them.
The analyses of organic remains makes it possible to study them without needing to touch them or employ invasive methods. The hormones are also analyzed, and these provide valuable data on the reproductive level of each animal, which is, after all, the fundamental aspect of the project. Every attempt is made to ensure that the animals live as if they were in the wild, but it is impossible to completely avoid contacts. The most notable limitation of the center is in relation to territoriality. The areas in which the animals live are no larger than 500 square meters, which prevents them, for example, from walking seven kilometers a day as they would normally do in the wild. In addition, contacts among them are limited, so they don't harm each other in fights. The daily work is pretty intense because we work during the day, at night, at weekends. Well, the problem we have day by day is that there are many things that we are learning as we go along. All kinds of discoveries, for example, that the females remain in heat until the month of May, but then their ovaries are inactive for the rest of the year, whereas the males maintain testicular activity throughout the year. That the females can experience a condition of pseudo-gestation that can last for several months. Also, things that we are discovering in many different fields, ethology, their behavior. For example, a female that is pregnant can go into a kind of pseudo-heat, and it looks as if she's really in heat. Science has achieved notable advances in recent years, and that means that dead animals can automatically be used as donors for others. Even the lynxes killed in accidents with cars can serve to save others. In this regard, the communication work done by the center is fundamental. The people in the surrounding area must know what is being done at El Acebuche and in what way they can contribute to saving the Iberian lynx. Simply informing Seprona that a lynx has been run over can be of invaluable assistance. We have learned one important thing, which is how to bottle feed a lynx cub from when it was abandoned at just one day old, and we've managed to do it. It is now five months old and it's a very strong lynx. For us, that is a good experience because in the future there will almost certainly be other abandoned lynxes that we will have to bottle feed. We have been helped a lot by the experiences of other programs of breeding in captivity, specifically the Jerez Zoo, which rescued a female that was dying out in the countryside, just five days old, and they bottle fed her, and they have helped us a lot with the case of Tsinara, who is the female abandoned precisely by that same mother that was bottle fed, and then also the experiences of other feline programs in captivity. Another of the great challenges of the ex situ breeding project is the conservation of the genetic variety of the Iberian lynx. Endogamy is one of the causes of the disappearance of the lynx, and it can only be avoided by encouraging males and females from different groups to breed. Those in charge of the project estimate that until there is a population of 70 individuals in captivity, the optimum genetic variety will not be guaranteed. 